On the banks of river Sarayu stood the mighty kingdom of Kushala. It was founded by the Surya dynasty. Ayodhya was its capital. King Dasharatha ruled the entire kingdom. He had three wives: Kaushalya, Kaikeyi, and Sumitra. But he was unhappy because he was childless. And that is why King Dasharatha performed it the Putra Kamishti yagya for a child. To perform the yagya, King Dasharatha called all the devotees, sages, and also the Veda scholars. This yagya was performed under the guidance of their mentor, Guru Vashishta. The king gave all the pandits. Brahmins, the sages, and everyone else enough grains and cows and bid them a farewell. King Dasharatha distributed the kheer which was offered to the Lord among all three queens. On the ninth day of the Shukla Paksha, dark a fortnight of the Chitra month. first month of the hindu calendar in the constellation of the punar varsu the sun the mars the saturn the jupiter the venus were in their highest positions queen kaushalya gave birth to a son just after the emergence of the cancer star the blue color of appearance of that child was said to be very attractive it was very difficult to get one's eyes of that child queen sumitra gave birth to two sons and queen kaiki also gave birth to a son the whole ayodhya celebrated in joy of the birth of their four sons All the courts showered flowers in the form of blessings on them. Later, Lord Ram, who is said to be the most dignified, became popular amongst the people for his calm nature and skillful leadership. To qualities. commemorate Lord Sri Ram's incarnation. On the last day of the Chaitra Navratri we celebrate the festival of Ram Navmi devotees fast on the day of Ram Navmi sing and recite his birth story through bhajans and kirtans this festival is not only celebrated in India but also all over the world